Hey guys, it's Lindsay. I am back to do a video about my favorite hair care. I know this is a highly um, favorite video for people to do here on YouTube, so I figured, hey, why not share some of my secrets since I have um, highlighted hair and it's always a struggle to keep it blonde, so let's just get started. So when I'm in the shower and I wash my hair about twice a week, and when I do shampoo my hair, I use the Joico K-Pack and I mix that with this purple platinum blonde shampoo. So I mix each, mix these two together like equal amounts and then I put it in my hair and then rinse them out. And then once I'm done with these, like these are what my um, stylist use, uses, so I just figured why not use them um, as well. So I use those and then... After I'm done using those, I use the infamous Macadamia Natural um, Oil Conditioner Deep Repair Mask. Um, I put this on my hair for about like the seven minutes, like it says. This is a brand new one. I just got it Ulta the other day. And yeah, I love, love, love this stuff. And if I'm not, if I don't have any of this, I'll normally use the Three Minute Miracle by Aussie in the purple bottle that everybody knows about. So yeah, I use the deep repair, deep repair mask for about seven minutes. Then when I get out of the shower, I use, these are both brand new bottles by the way. The um, First I use the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. Everybody knows this stuff does 10 things. It repairs dry, damaged hair, adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body and flat iron and it's a flat iron and thermal protection spray so I use that and then I also use the Paul Mitchell smoothing what is this super skinny serum just looks like that I use both of these together and then for the ends of my hair I use the repair rescue sealed ends by Bonacure and then there's like some German name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. But yeah, I use this for the ends of my hair, like the ends of my bangs and then the ends of my roots. And then I normally blow dry my hair. And then if I'm going to curl it, I usually, just to add like extra protection, I usually um, use this thermal heat spray. I love this stuff just because it's so easy to apply with this spritzer right here. And then... Um, I'll curl my hair and then to um, curl my hair and then after I've curled my hair I'll use the Sebastian Reshaper um, hairspray to keep my curls in place and yeah this stuff is awesome I love it I love the smell I love all the smells of Sebastian stuff they just smell great and um, then Say I'm like not gonna curl my hair, but I get I want to add some shine to it. I'll use this Catwalk Volume Collection Weightless Shine Spray, and this oh my goodness is amazing. It smells amazing. Like oh, it just smells so good. I got this a while ago. I've had this for such a long time, and it's just a great shine spray, and it smells amazing. And say I'm not washing my hair, which is a lot of the time. I will use the Oscar Blondie Pronto Dry Shampoo, which looks like this. It's a white powder spray that you put in your roots of your hair so it doesn't look frizzy, or not frizzy, so it doesn't look, this hair is bothering me, so it doesn't look um, greasy. And then I also have been trying the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging stuff. This stuff is great. And yeah, those are the two dry shampoos I use. And last but not least, well actually I have two more things to tell you guys. I always use a comb. Never a brush, always a comb. Um, it helps prevent breakage and also if your hair is wet and you're going to brush it, always brush it from the end and then work your way up to the top and things like that. So that um, with your bangs it really doesn't matter because they shouldn't be all that tangled after you get in the shower, but definitely when you are brushing your hair, start at the ends and then work your way up. And last, but certainly not least, I've had lots of, lots of what? Lots of um, 
issues, should we say, with my hair maintaining the blondness. Before I was educated, per se, I was using a purple shampoo and purple conditioner like every single day. That basically turned my hair like a grayish color. It was ab like I was freaking out, absolutely freaking out. So um, my stylist recommends, if that is ever the case for anyone, like their hair is like a grayish tint, purple, bluish tint, and there's like no color to your hair at all, it looks like gray or something like that, you want to use a clarifying shampoo. And this is the number Shampoo 2 by Paul Mitchell, and this will clarify your hair and um, it removes buildup on your hair. And um, that will help get rid of that buildup from the purple shampoo. Because what the purple shampoo is doing it is, it is that it's depositing color where your hair is already highlighted to its fullest capacity. Like my hair wasn't brassy or anything, but I always wanted to keep it blonde, you know? So I would put it, um, I would use the purple shampoo not thinking that it was going to literally like strip the color and then start depositing that color on my hair because there was no more brassiness for it to take away. So it was just adding purplish, grayish color to my hair. So this will take that nasty color away and hopefully end you back up with your blonde highlights. That is if you don't have to get them redone, which I've had to do from time to time. So yeah, the clarifying Paul Mitchell shampoo will take care of that buildup on your hair that didn't really need to be built up at all. So I know I've talked about a lot of products here, but that's basically like all the products I love, all the products that work well for me. If you guys have any questions, want me to do like a getting ready video where I use these products and you can see me using them, then I would be more than happy to do that. Um, I know this is a new location. I'm filming outside. I know I look really, really ridiculously white. I don't really know why, probably because the sun is not out, but yet it looks really sunny on camera. But we'll see what happens. Um, I might film indoor from now on or maybe when the sun's out, but it's kind of hard with a work schedule getting the weather to cooperate. So any questions, leave them down below. And of course, as always, I love you guys. Bye.